Hello everyone, Sevi here with another quick tutorial on how to use the interactive BFA Warlock spreadsheet for your gear list. Um, for those of you who have used my gear lists before, you're going to notice a lot of things have stayed very similar, but there are some new updated features for BFA. For those of you who have never used my gear sheets before, no worries, it should be pretty easy. Uh, so first of all, for you to be able to get your very own copy where you can interact with it and save whatever you need to, you need to go up to the top, hit file, and make a copy, and name it whatever you'd like to. If for some reason it you're not being able to get the file make a copy option, that means that there are too many people that are on that particular version of my spreadsheet. Uh, Google does limit it at 100 people, so you will need to go to one of the mirror sites in order to make your own copy. So I've gone ahead and done that, and so here it is. Down at the bottom, you'll see that we've got Affliction, Demonology, and Destruction tabs. All of these are coming preloaded with the current stat weights, so whenever we are rerunning Sims, we will be updating those stat weights, so please make sure to check back anytime we push out new Sims. Um, on the left hand side you'll see that this is going to be the total gear list at this time it is launch so this will be being updated as the progression of bfa happens so at this time we've only have the dungeon loot and the world boss loot um, the world boss loot has been disabled since it's only going to be happening you know, once a week, you have to wait for your reset, so it's going to be a little bit harder to get. That has been zeroed out, but anytime you'd like to be able to put that back in, you can just go ahead and type in the item level, and it will function as normal. Okay, so on the right-hand side, you'll see that this is going to be kind of like your quick little breakdown of what you're going to have and things that you can enter in yourself. So, stat weights... You can either put in your own, or you can use uh, the ones that we suggest that loss. Um, anytime that you do enter in a new stat weight, it will trigger a resort for all of your gear, and it will update it for you. Uh, one of the new features that we're going to be offering here is being able to select your number of targets, because number of targets is going to be affecting the Azerite traits. So you can use the drop down and select one target, two targets, or three or more targets. So I'm just going to keep it on one target for right now, but I will be playing with it here in just a second. Okay, the pieces of gear that have Azerite traits on them are the helm, shoulders, and chest. You'll notice that it has two sets of drop downs. One is going to be for your tier 2, and the other one's going to be for your tier 3. So, um, the first one, this one is the outer ring. It has four that you can choose. However, one is a spec specific trait and the other one is a warlock specific trait. The warlock specific trait is going to be the top one. Your spec specific trait is going to be the bottom one. Uh, if you go to the second one, you'll see that these would be the next inner ring. So you're going to have three choices for this one. And these are the three choices that you would have if you were looking at the storm lurkers cowl. Okay, so let me go ahead, I'm going to select uh, Demonic Meteor, and I'm going to select Blood Siphon. Notice when I have selected those, it has updated the weighted value for this. Any of the Azerite traits under the weighted value column are not actually the SimC weighted value. They are the DPS for that specific item at that item level with those Azerite traits at that item level as well. So let's say I have a Storm Lurker's Cow, and I'd like to compare that to a Soul Fuel Headdress, and I'm going to put Shadow's Bite. It's going to automatically trigger a resort since I have selected a trait. Anytime you do select a trait, it will trigger a resort. So I'm going to look at my second one, and let's say Heed My Call. So if I compare those two, I'm going to see that the Soul Fuel at 340 is outperforming the Sol Storm Lurker's Cowl at 340 with those specific traits. Now, if I want to use Tidal Surge, you'll notice that it has triggered a resort as well, and this is Storm Lurker's Cowl. It has a higher DPS output than what the Soul Fuel Headdress does with those specific traits. 
instead of having to keep clicking through to say, okay, well, which one is exactly better for my spec at this time? You can also go to one locks, one stop shop. And if you go to what we were looking at was demonology, I'm going to go to demonology and I'm going to go to Sims and I'm going to select the Azerite. Now, I was looking at one target, so I'm going to be looking at the one target here. So at this particular moment, I can see that my Tier 2 Sims are performing in this order. This is the second column, and my Tier 3 is, look, is performing like this, and that would be my second column. So you'd be able to say, if I can choose dagger in the back, I know that I'm going to choose dagger in the back over, say, swirling sands. I'm always going to be getting a higher DPS output for demonology for single target in that case. So going back to the gear list, you'll see that once I have selected these, it will also populate on the right hand side as well with the DPS value, with the drop location and the ID if you need it. Okay, so if I'm looking at the shoulders, I'm going to go ahead and select those as well so I can get that coming up as well as I'll do Trade Winds and Gut Ripper. So all of my gear that I'm looking for is going to be over here to the right. Now, if I look, I'm seeing that I have a two-handed Sea Breeze. We're having to go back to the weapons thing. So always trying to compare, okay, do I need a main hand offhand or do I need a two hand? Well, this will go ahead and uh, figure that all out for you. So right now I have a 380 eye level sea breeze equipped. Well, I want to go ahead and compare apples to apples. So I'm going to hit 340 on that. It doesn't look like I did anything, but if I go back up to the top, you'll see that if I have only the 340 Sea Breeze, that's not going to be as good as having the main hand Wand of Jealous Purification and the offhand Rattling Jar of Eyes. So I know that I would want to have that particular main hand and offhand at the same item level as what I would have with the best two-hand weapon um, for demonology of one target. All right, so this whole thing that we've been doing so far has been for only one target. So I'm gonna go ahead and select another couple of these to show oops, that once I have a couple of the Azerite traits and of course the non-Azerite traits as well, if I go to two targets, it has to be triggered an auto sort over here and has gone ahead and updated over here to the right as well. If I choose three targets, you'll notice again that the weighted value for the Azerite traits in particular are going to change and it will update and reflect those changes over here to the right. Now, if you're one of the players who typically switches specs kind of often, like Warlocks have to do, um, and we wanna be able to look at uh, my affliction and if I go to the first column, I've got Dagger in the back again. That is the Warlock general trait. Well, Racking Brilliance is the spec specific trait. Instead of having to go through and click every single one of those, so I've got Grasping Crown of the Deep is Racking Brilliance, and Grasping Crown of the Deep is Explosive Potential, and Grasping. Crown of the Deep is Rolling Havoc. Instead of having to go and click through those or have to go to an alternate website, if you go to the A trait uh, tab down at the bottom, you'll see that we've got Grasping Crown of the Deep is right here. Uh, these are the ones that are on the outer ring. So the generic Warlock trait would be Dagger in the back. Green is for Affliction, Racking Brilliance. Uh, the orange is for destruction, so that'd be rolling havoc, and the demonology would be purple with explosive potential. So if you want to be able to compare those by using the charts to be able to figure out what would be the highest uh, simmed value for those, you, you can always go ahead and use this to your advantage instead of having to go elsewhere and be able to use this in conjunction with the charts that are up on Voss. Okay, going back to the demonology gearing, go ahead and switch that back out. 
notice that it has triggered an auto sort. The things that will tr trigger an auto sort are editing the eye level, editing the first azurite trait, added, editing the second azurite trait, or editing stat weights or the number of traits. Any of these will, re tr will trigger an, an auto resort for you, so you don't have to worry about um, doing it yourself. Again, like every video that I have ever done, I caution you, this is only to help you figure out uh, what's going to be best for you. The 100% better choice is to sim your own character and be able to do your own stat weights. You can import your stat weights in here as well, but again, highly recommend that you do sim your character. This is only supposed to be as a resource. I think that about wraps it up. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a DM on Discord. Again, my name is Sevi. Um, or shoot a DM to one of the valued members at Loss. Have a great expansion, guys. Take care.